Hello everybody and welcome back to the Creature Flesh Workshop. We are now on part four of our Dragia silicone mask build. So we've got the shop set up and we are ready to start working on it again. So just a quick recap of what we've done. We've done our primary form, so that's the muscular structure, the general shape of the piece. And we're now heading towards the end of our secondary stage, so that's the wrinkles and some of the bigger details on the piece. So the first thing we need to do today is finish off the back. That's the bit that we haven't really done yet with the secondary form. And once that's complete, we can then smooth it all out and make it look a little bit cleaner. So let's get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften those up a bit. I'm going to soften up all of the skin so we can kind of step back and see what we're working with. It's going to give us a better insight into what the final piece is going to look like. And I think it's definitely going to clean it up a little bit just to make it look much better. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to be using this stuff which is uh, lighter fluid. But actually the uh, key component that I need in this is something called naphtha which is a solvent. Now you can buy an outfit online, it seems to be pretty tough to get in the UK, um, so I just use this stuff. You don't need too much of it, but what it does is it actually breaks down the oil-based clay. So it's great for getting rid of fingerprints, great at getting rid of little bits that are in the creases there, little imperfections, um, it's just nice to smooth it out and clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna be using a stiff brush, um, I'm probably going to cut this down a little bit so I can get in those wrinkles and just clean it all up a little bit. So this is fairly nasty stuff to be working with, and especially when you're in a, a closed room breathing it in uh, and working with it over a long period of time. So I'm going to be wearing a chemical mask. Um, I definitely recommend that you do that yourselves if you are going to be working with this stuff. It's not very nice, but it does do the trick. So, let's so with it.
really coming along with this sculpt. We have done the primary forms, we've just completed the secondary forms, and the next stage is our final stage of sculpting, it's our tertiary forms. So these are the pock marks, the fine wrinkles, the things that really make it hyper-realistic. Thank you guys again for joining me on this journey and be here next time where we will grow ever closer to the completion of this sculpt. Thank you.